ಿಭ್ಯೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಕರ್ತೃಭ್ಯೋ ವಂಶ ಋಷಭ್ಯೋ ಮಹದ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ಗುರುಭ್ಯ ಸರ್ವೋಪ್ಲವರಹಿತ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞಾನ ಘನ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಗರ್ಥೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಸ್ಮಿ ಸೋಹಮಸ್ಮಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಸ್ಮಿ ಓಂ ಪ್ರಪನ್ನ ಪಾರಿ ಜಾತೋತ್ರ ವೇತ್ರೈಕ ಪಾಣಯೇ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಮುದ್ರಾ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ಗೀತಾ ಮೃತ ದುಃಖೇ ನಮಃ ಮೇರ್ ಆಲ್ ಮೈಟಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ವೆಂಕಟೇಶ್ವರ ಬಿಸ್ಟು ಆಲ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾಸ್ಪರಿಟಿ ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಟರ್ನಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಪರಿಪೂರ್ಣ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಕಟಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಯು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಬಿಗಿನ್ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತಾ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಒನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಉವಾಚ ಪರಂ ಭೋಯ ಪ್ರವಕ್ಷ್ಯಾಮಿ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಉತ್ತಮ ಯಜ್ಞಾತ್ವಾ ಮುನಯ ಸರ್ವೇ ಪರಂ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಸೊ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಬಿಗಿನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ವಿತ್ ಪ್ರತಿಜ್ಞ ಹೀ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಡೂ ದೀಸ್ ನಾಲೆಜಸ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಟು ಅರ್ಜುನ ಹಿ ಗಿವ್ ದ ಅಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಉತ್ತಮ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಪ್ರವಕ್ಷ್ಯಾಮಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ರಿವೀಲ್ ದ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸುಪೀರಿಯರ್ ಅಮಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ಅದರ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ನಾವು ಆಲ್ ಅದರ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ವಿಚ್ ವರ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ವರ್ಚ್ಯೂಸ್ ಸೊ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಅಮ ನಿತ್ಯಂಭಿತ್ವ ಅಹಿಂಸಾ ಕ್ಷಾಂತಿ ರಾಜ್ಯವ ಆಚಾರ್ಯೋಪಾಸನಂ ಶೌಚ ಸ್ಥೈರ್ಯ ಮಾತ್ಮ ವಿ ನಿಗ್ರಹ ಸೊ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ವರ್ಚ್ಯೂಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ನೀಡೆಡ್ ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ನೀಡೆಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಗ್ರೆಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ವೆರ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ understanding about something getting knowledge means what becoming understood of something so i understand how to swim is a knowledge i understand the taste of mango i could uh, uh, you know distinguish the taste of mango from other fruits then my knowledge regarding mango is which is in the form of experience you know there are more varieties are available in the mangoes also so more varieties every varieties have their own taste if a person is able to define or distinguish the particularly the taste of this mango belongs to which variety means he is specialized he has got special knowledge in that subject means mango now knowledge means what understanding of something understanding of something means what understanding how will they impact me and what is the result that i would get by con- connecting with that object so all these things are endowed with the part of knowledge knowledge means coming to know about the nature of something the swarupa of something like the nature of the life is to be understood the knowledge which was given in the form of 20 varieties is to save our life you know those 20 virtues are like a footpath the track for our life amanitvam the body and mind and buddhi they will bring a kind of the greatness how do i say manitvam means uh, they will make manitvam becoming or feeling proud about the talents which we won becoming proud that should not be that becoming proud is because of what 
that is the response the reaction of our own mind when i am praised by somebody when we are praised by somebody automatically the manitvam comes the proudness you know it takes place in our mind when people are glorifying you or when people are glorifying uh, us we are setting a kind of proudness manitvam that is to be avoided that is should not be given priority that is the knowledge the nature of body mind and sense complex to give the proudness we have to keep ourselves uh, away from that feeling feeling proud becoming proud and feeling proudness is dangerous therefore we should have the knowledge to keep the proud feeling away it is not taught anywhere it requires long experiences you know the these things were given has the knowledge so many people would have experienced so out of those many experiences so one person have might have defined one person means the rishis i am talking about so this you know becoming victim of proudness causes problem to one's life therefore we have to be careful we have to bring the attitude of amanitvam adambhyatvam when we own you know the assets and all we also become very confident and over confident sometimes one should not be endowed with over confidence these are all maya karyam so those 20 virtues start as life towards success one can adopt these kind of the knowledge which are a kind of result of many uh, people's life those knowledge i have to be valid but this knowledge which i am going to teach bhagwan says which i am going to teach is superior than those knowledge so how it becomes superior yagnyatva munaya sarve param siddhim gataha by knowing which by attaining knowledge which the all seekers reached eternity siddhim gataha siddhi means moksham gataha param siddhi means uh, the superior state those people reached a supreme state that i am going to reveal that's what the meaning of verse number 1 then the next words idam yanam upashritya mamasa dharmyam agata sarge pinopajayante pralaye navyathanti cha the benefit of this knowledge again said from different standpoint idam yanam upashritya after adapting this knowledge which i am going to reveal mamasa dharmyam agata ha the people who can elevate themselves up to my level mama sadharmyam parameshwarasya swarupatam so they can identify me as themselves by identifying me as their self they will get rid of srutti they won't be born again and they are not going to die so this is the benefit now we need to have a kind of foundation which will be very helpful for this chapter because the name of the chapter which is known as guna traya vibhagah the divisions of three gunas now what are the three gunas sattva gunam rajo gunam tamo gunam gunas means attributes according to vedantic language but gunas means in normal language we can take as a characteristic of something or somebody or some kind of uh, the events incidents or accidents okay even every aspects of the world can be categorized into these three divisions sattva guna vastu rajo guna vastu tamo guna vastu sattva guna gunaha sattva guna gunaha and rajo guna gunaha then tamo guna guna 
I said Sattva twice because there are two kinds of Sattvas, Malina Sattvam and uh, proper Sattva. It's okay. So I will explain later on. Now what exactly Sattva Guna? Now take a top, a spinning top. You might have seen, you know, the kids play with that. They, uh, you know, spin the rope and they do like this. Then it will spin like anything. That's, uh, you know, kids play material. When you see a top, it's spinning fast, rotating very fast. How would it look like? So when it is very fast, you put your ears nearby it, you can see there is a sound, sound. But it appears as though it is standing, isn't it? Yes, a top which is spinning very fast, I mean rotating very fast, it seems to be as though stand and still. That is the example for Sattva Guna. Okay. So, this is not the complete uh, definition that which I am giving now. It will help somehow to understand the nature of Gunas. Okay. So, the things which uh, seems to be standstill but it is rotating fast. This is the example of Sattva Guna. Now, what is the understanding that we should have through this example? The people who can work a lot, they really work hard and they work more than others, but appearing as though they are not working much. They seem to be very relaxed and healthy and polite, it is endowed with peace. The mind is endowed with the tranquility and they can also construct a proper relationship with everybody. Their mind is endowed, it seems to be, okay, their mind is endowed with the meditation with uh, in all times. They are tensionless people, very relaxed people. Any action, any project, if it is provided to them, they will finish with successful manner. And they will also maintain proper relationship with all. They will also know how to communicate with their own body, mind and sense complex. They will also value others and they will also be valued by others. Sattva guna. Okay, so this Sattva Guna means so that which is endowed with tranquility, clarity. If at all those people who are endowed with Sattva Guna, guna they can think anything completely. What I mean to say, so they won't exist or stay with a vague knowledge of something. If at all they understand something, they will dig up to the depth of that subject matter. They will be very clear, otherwise they won't start any business, any project. The Sattva Guna of people. So Sattva Guna brings, no, later on Bhagavan himself he is going to uh, reveal the nature of Sattva Guna. After, uh, you know, from I think uh, fifth verse he is going to talk about it. But before that we have to be clear about something. You know? The Sattva Guna brings happiness, brings uh, a kind of smoothness with everybody. This is one example. Every object has got Sattva Guna. Okay? Every object, whether it is expressing or not. Even a man who never laughs, he also has got Sattva Guna. Who doesn't uh, work at all, always lazy, he also has Sattva Guna. But it is not expressive. Then the next example, the same top, when it reduces, you know, the fast spinning top, rotating top, when it reduces the speed, how it would uh, appear? So it will uh, adapt, you know, small jerk movement like this, you know. Now it seems to be a rotating, okay, but with a less speed than the first one. Nowadays, 
not that much fast this is the example of rajoguna the nature which is known as rajoguna rajoguna people they are seems to be busy always always busy and hard workers apparently seen you know they are working a lot but not as much as amount of working like the satoguna people these people will become tired and they will make others also tired they go up and down now you know anything happiness or sadness they enjoy a lot when they are happy they jump and they share with others when they become sad they go and cry in solid a place so like zig zag endowed with uh, lots of uh, uh, rational thoughts always uh, they are they would like to argue with others so these are all the nature of rajoguna it said but the success also will be achieved by them but the health will be lost and uh, the proper relationship may not be maintained i have seen the people you know for example there was uh, one gentleman who is good at character he arranged a marriage for his sons okay so he worked hard for two months after marriage marriage went very well and everybody praised but the co-workers and relatives and family members even you know bride and bride grooms they got fed up with him because always under tension restless and shouting at others and you know even becoming worried and sad not having food properly not allowing anybody to sleep properly not having himself you know with sleep properly he collapsed his health and he became sick after the marriage is done rajoguna the nature of rajoguna is to be endowed with so many activities vague activities half knowledge with everything not maintaining health of his own body mind and sense complex and not allowing others to have their own space occupying them and becoming slave to others and jumping and shouting this is the nature of rajoguna but good people they are endowed with dharma they want to do dharma they want to arrange for kumbhabhishek if, if at all you know they are going for kumbhabhishek they are also the same thing then the next example when the top reduces the spinning speed more it's about to stop it won't you know lie down you know as we lie down on the bed it will take huge round and will become dead like that people when they take any project either they continue themselves as the laziest people or they become over into and disturb all others by collapsing others health and their own health and thus, you know sometimes they adapt shortcut i mean breaking the laws law of anything they are not able to fix themselves with or under the rules and regulations they collapse everyone's life and their life too therefore the nature of tamogunam which goes beyond dharma which adapts a dharma and that causes for a great loss or pain that is known as tamoguna so this understanding of gunas will be the foundation before entering into these words bhagwan krishna is going to tell uh, from his stand point so his style it has got vedantic style but colloquially we should understand what the gunas now one more uh, truth i have to tell you every object or any object you take in this world they are endowed with three gunas and always the three gunas are in one place we cannot separate one guna from others where there is sattva guna then immediately rajoguna tamoguna will take place so it's like a circle like you know a day can be divided into three gunas the night is compared with tamoguna tamoguna which is filled with ignorance okay 
filled with the dangerous things. And the Sattu Guna means always, you know, the morning. We call it Brahma Muhurta, a Sattu Guna. And the evening, the connection of, you know, day and night, it's considered as Sattu Guna. At that time, mind becomes calm. And world also, it seems to be so pleasant. It is compared with Sattu Guna. Then, uh, as the day goes, you know, the time goes up, means the sun rises and he goes up, then it is known as Rajoguna. Rajoguna means Ugra Swarupam. It is, you know, so hot. Like that, food also can be uh, categorized three gunas, and even stone can be. Rajoguna, which is endowed with actions, more actions oriented. Worship, Rajoguna worship, Tamoguna worship, and uh, uh, Sattvika Guna worship. Everything can be divided. See, the things can be divided into three cat uh, these three categories, and uh, people can be divided. Any taste, everything can be divided into three categories because these three gunas alone are appearing as the jagat. Once we understand this, the nature, original nature of these three gunas, we can understand the nature of the world. Or, in other words, if I say the world which is in the form of three gunas. Trigunas are appearing as the world, or we can call it the world which is in the form of Trigunas. The world, the Prakriti Tattva is explained in this manner. It's a beautiful method. Okay, so once we understand these Trigunas are not separable, we cannot separate one guna from others too. But we can say there are objects predominantly Sattva Gunas are existing. Then we call it Sattva Guna. If a person uh, who is called, you know, Sattvika person, but you know, usually Sadhu or Sattvika person means uh, those people are good for nothing. So they are harmless people. Harmless people alone called Sadhu's people. That's good. But harmless, talentedless and the courageous, you know, and also, you know, the people who doesn't have confidence and boldness, they are not sadhus. They are not sadhus, they are khabat people. But the sattvika people means the people who are predominated by the sattva guna. And rajoguna people means who are predominated by rajoguna. And tamoguna people means who are occupied, predominated by tamoguna. This is how, because, you know, uh, these things I have told already, but in this place, it is needed very much. We will continue this elaborately with the help of verses from Bhagavan Krishna from the next session. Hari Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namo Namaha. Om Pur Namad Afpur Namid Ampur Nat Pur Namod Achyate Pur Nasya Pur Namad Ayapur Name Vava Cheshyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Harihi Om